What's up, babies? The general elections are coming. For those of you who aren't from Singapore, we are having a general election soon. Yeah, a few of you have been DMing me to talk about politics in Singapore. Honestly, I don't give a fuck about it. I know I should, like I'm of the age that I should know about politics in Singapore, but it really doesn't interest me at all. My knowledge of politics in Singapore comes from reading headline articles online and Reddit. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to appear like an ignorant fool in front of the people that I'm talking to. So you know, all I'll do is just read a few headline articles and try to finesse my way through a political conversation. <laughs> So, instead of talking about politics, today we're just going to be looking at our Singapore politicians failing. Because you know what they say, if you don't know about a topic, just make jokes about it to appear confident. Let's just fucking dive into it. Good morning, voters. Ah, it's afternoon time. Good afternoon, voters. <laughs> we are the candidates. Ah, it's afternoon time. You know, I'm surprised that he even acknowledged that. Like, if I were to make that mistake, I would have just carried on. Well, hey, at least we have honest candidates, right? Oh, wait, did you hear that? Someone actually snitched on him. I think it, it was his fellow member that said, It's afternoon. Ooh, who's that snitch, though? Good morning, voters. Afternoon. You heard that? It's afternoon. What are you talking about? A morning. It's afternoon. <laughs> You don't even know your time of day and you want to public speak? <laughs> Preposterous! How are you going to know how to greet your audience? Good morning or good afternoon? You have to know your time of day. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> it's afternoon! Ah yes, I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is probably my favourite meme from the elections. It's so fucking funny! It's so good! Oh my frapping god! It's so good! For our East Coast residents, the, we also have a plan for the East Coast. We have a East Coast, Singapore, we have a together at East Coast plan. We care at East Coast. So we look forward to working closely together with our residents to enable the East Coast and the whole of Singapore to emerge from this stronger. Hey! Hey, he, he has a plan. He has a plan. But what's the plan? You got it. It's the East Coast plan. East Coast plan. The, the together, the we care. East Coast, East Coast plan. The East Coast plan. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I love it. I love, I fucking love that video. Ooh. <laughs> Let's watch it again. <laughs> we also have a plan for the East Coast. We have a uh, East Coast, Singapore, we have a together at East Coast plan. We care at East Coast. So we look forward to working closely. Oh, fuck. We have a East Coast, uh, Singapore, we have a together. Jesus. Oh, that's so good. Oh, and also, anyone notice that the woman behind is wearing the mask the wrong way? Yeah, like look at the PAP logo on her shirt and look at the one on the mask. She's wearing the mask upside down, man. Ooh, it's Daddy Jameis. Yeah, I saw the live debate that went on on uh, Channel News Asia's YouTube channel. He was eloquent, he was smart, and yeah, I liked the way he spoke and I liked how he conducted himself. That's just my opinion. It's not a political stance or anything. I'm just saying I liked the way he spoke, okay? We have often emphasized in the Workers' Party that we do not necessarily object to policy just because of the sake of objection. Ultimately, what we want- His hand gestures though, it's not necessarily that we want to object policies for the sake of objection i'm sorry i'm sorry jamus oh, come on that's pretty funny okay so this was the closing statement that he made that kind of won over singaporeans and to be honest i was kind of impressed by it too just by what he was saying and the way he conducted himself because he seemed very respectful towards his opposition but at the same time humble and confident same goes to dr vivian balakrishnan those two people conducted themselves really well during the live debate now uh, Dr. Chi mentioned as well about uh, education and as an educator myself, that warms the cockles of my heart. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately... Sorry, what? 
It warms the cockles of your heart. Hmm. That's a really unique phrase to use. Warms the cockles of my heart. Ooh, that is so powerful. Ooh. Wait, does it actually mean something? Let's let's check it out. Okay, it actually means something. Guess I'm a fucking idiot. So it was a legit phrase. Wow. Thank you, Jameis, for introducing me to a new phrase. It really, it really warms the cockles of my heart to learn new words to add into my vocabulary. My cockles are warm and moist. Mm. Th thank you, Jameis. Thank you. Oh wait, I did it wrongly. Thank you, Jameis Lim, for warming the cockles of my heart. Okay, here we have Dr. Tan Cheng Bok representing the Progress Singapore Party. I don't really know much about him, but from what I read, he's a he's quite a legend in Singapore. That's why he has so many followers. But I don't really know the whole backstory, so please don't start a political war in the comments. We are just here to have fun and laugh at people. <laughs> Constituency of Pioneer, Merrimount, Kebun Baru, Pongka North, and Yo Chu Kang. PSB, uh, PSB uh, candidates come from very different backgrounds and they will bring with them the experiences and knowledge to serve you. You deserve better. Vote P, uh, PSB. Thank you. <laughs> Top tier editing. <laughs> well done. Let's look at the comments. Our double agent almost blew it. Phew. Tan Cheng Bok, who are you working for? Are you working for the PAP or the PSP? Who are you working for? Be honest. Be honest with your followers. Watching nomination speeches is more entertaining than anything. <laughs> hey, hey, there is some truth in that. It warms the cockles of my heart to hear that. Give Akong a chance. <laughs> Akong old already lah. Akong forgot which party he's in. Give give Akong a chance, okay? Uncle Tan super cute with his flashcards. He even needs flashcards. He needs his flash. He can't remember things properly anymore. Okay, give him a chance. Ah, uh, Tan Cheng Bok. He's so cute. Tan Cheng Bok. He's so adorable, isn't he? Oh wait, I just found another post about his Instagram comments. Apparently, Tan Cheng Bok replies to his comments on Instagram. Unlike me. Shit. He's got his whole social media game down. I gotta learn from Uncle Tan. Let's see what he says in his comment section. So someone said, Next time, say shout out. It's better. And then Tan Cheng Bok says, I can't shout in parliament. Only debate is okay. Tan Cheng Bok, you comedian. You're so funny. So witty. So smart. Tan Cheng Bok. My young friend Jenny taught me young people's new words. I'm a hype beast person. I hope you are too. Ooh. Tan Cheng Bok flexing on us. Ooh. Good morning to my online friends. My other friend, blank, taught me a new word. It's called woke. I just woke up, but it's not the same meaning. I know. If you see me at a walkabout today, say hi and tell me I'm woke. <laughs> what? But I might. <laughs> but I might forget because it's a new word. See you at Bishan today. <laughs> Tan Cheng Bo! You're so cute. What a legend. What a f Fucking legend. I wish my grandpa was as cool as that. Hey grandson, Akong is a hype beast. Akong is woke. Understand? Ah, uh, what shoe you wearing? Huh? Pasa malam slippers. Akong wearing Jordans. Ah, uh, Akong is hype beast. Call uncle woke. Uncle is what? Woke. Hmm. Hmm. Vote for PAP. PSP. PSP. Vote for PSP. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's really, that's really it for 2020's GE. But you know, I kind of want to see more. So let's time travel back five years during the 2015 general elections. Because, ooh, that one was pretty memorable too. So these are the highlights of the Singapore general elections in 2015. And if the result is good, thumbs up, man. Thumbs up, man. If the result is lousy, what happened? Boo! Boo to be happy! Thank you, fellow Singaporeans! Oh, the amount of passion he has. Did you hear the sheer amount of passion that he had while giving that speech? It, it warmed the cockles of my heart. Just hearing that. <sighs> Boo! Boo! 
if the result is good, thumbs up, man. If it's bad, boom, boom. The passion, that's what we need. That is what we need in our debates. Passion, raw, unfiltered passion to rile the spirits of Singaporeans. Can you imagine if he's that passionate whenever he's talking to people? Hey bro, you hungry? You wanna go have some, have some fish soup? Fish soup? Fish soup? Boo! Boo to fish soup! Boo! Okay, uh, um, what about carrot cake? Thumbs up, man. <sighs> I fucking love it. <clears throat> Do you all think I have a large forehead? You think I have a large forehead? Huh? <laughs> to you. I don't have a large forehead, okay? <laughs> we need to vote the right people in parliament. Please vote for me. Thank you. No. No, we, no. We don't want to vote for you. Please vote for me. Nah. Poor fella, poor girl. Heckled at her own rally. A place where you're supposed to win the hearts of your supporters. To warm the cockles of your supporters. That sounds very dirty. A place where you're supposed to captivate your audience. But you still managed to get heckled. Oh wait, there's a video from another angle. Satan win this election, we will have to suffer for another five more years. The people of Rani Mas, when they face their problems, Oh, so that was the guy shouting no. Hey, at least he's having fun, man. He looks like he's having a blast. Please vote for me. Thank you. Please vote for me. No. No. <laughs> Here's the last video of Tan Chuan Jin, who's a PAP candidate, going above and beyond for his job to serve the people of Singapore. And you know, doing his best to run for the elections, quite literally. Bravo. Bravo, Mr. Tan. Apparently, he's been doing this for previous elections as well. Yeah, he has military background. That's why I guess he's so into fitness. He's really running for the elections. He's running as if he has a solid plan. It may not be an East Coast plan, but he has conviction and he has a plan. So he actually posted this video on his own Facebook page. Yeah, let's see the reason why he's doing it. So these are the comments under his Facebook video. Pardon the ignorance, but why is there a need to run, sir? Is it to cover more ground in a shorter time? I feel so tired just watching the video because I don't want my residents to wait. I minimize time between units. <laughs> hey, you heard from the man himself, man. He wants to cover as much space as possible within the shortest amount of time. <sighs> Thumbs up, man. What a legend. What a champion. And yeah, that's about all the videos I could find regarding elections. I don't really have a political stance. I don't feel like I know enough to talk about it. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it at that. But um, hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, yeah, keep your cockles warm. Um, always have a plan. And um, subscribe. Because if you don't subscribe to this channel, then... Boom! to you. But if you do subscribe, thumbs up man. <sighs> yeah okay now fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>